Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Sir for that wonderful entrance. Typical, of course, 10 men blowing their own trumpets before a woman even so much as opens her mouth. <laughs> the Scots Guards, ladies and gentlemen. I actually found them in Claire Foy's dressing room. She is thrillingly method, that lady. Good evening and welcome to the Virgin TV British Academy Television Awards 2018, the original home of the hostile environment. <laughs> I'm Sue Perkins. You might know me from leaving some of the most successful shows on television. <laughs> what an honour it is to present this most stellar of evenings. Now, I don't want to ignore the elephant in the room, but on such a prestigious occasion, I feel it would be crass and borderline inappropriate to discuss my fee for tonight. So, let's just say I'm going to be putting in half the effort. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't even cleaned my teeth. A woman may well be hosting this evening, but don't worry, I've still got two big fellas up there to keep an eye on me, you know, just to make sure my driving's all right. Wonderful to be here at the Royal Festival Hall. What a fabulous building. And just like my very good friend Mel, it too is celebrating 70 glorious years in the arts. Congratulations, Melanie. All my love to you. I know, such wonderful underpinning. Now, what do you think of the set? I mean, personally, I love it. For me, it really sums up the TV industry. It's glitzy, it's glamorous, and most importantly, it's two-faced. <laughs> Turns out tonight, of course, I'm having to work alongside a, uh, a massive organ. <laughs> now I know how Susanna Reid feels on Good Morning Britain. <laughs> hey! We are in for a cracking night tonight. We're going to be celebrating some of the finest talent from a year of incredible British television. And the cast of Love Islander here. If you haven't seen that show, um, it's about decent, hard-working people being callously sent home from an island they love. Thank God that could never happen in real life. Which gets me thinking. If arriving on a boat from another country is now a crime, then the next series of uh, Cruising with Jane MacDonald is going to be in a whole hell load of trouble. Before we kick off, a big shout to the general public up there. Hello, guys. And um, in true royal wedding style, do help yourselves to anything from your own picnic. <laughs> what a year we've had, eh? Another royal baby born. I'm not saying there was pressure on Kate to look perfect afterwards, but apparently she couldn't hear if it was a boy or a girl over the sound of the hairdryer. the fantastic Jodie Whittaker became the first ever female Doctor Who. And you know, much controversy followed of course because apparently some fans of space travel in a phone box, sonic screwdrivers and intergalactic alien races found it difficult to imagine that. For me, I think Jodie was the perfect choice. Because if there's one thing this year has taught us, if anyone's got experience fighting off grotesque monsters, it's an actress. <laughs> How great to see the fabulous Blue Planet 2 nominated. Great, a magnificent piece of work. It was, if you haven't seen it, it's a bit like Blue Planet 1, only this time the penguins demanded bigger trailers. This was important television. It brought to our attention the damage single-use plastic is doing to our environment. Plastic finds its way into rivers, oceans, 
and some even found its way into the cast of TOWIE. <laughs> the quality of British drama this year, I think you'll agree, has been utterly outstanding. The Crown, Peaky Blinders, Line of Duty. Indeed, I suspect some of you have had a couple of lines of duty tonight. Incredible show, Line of Duty. Tandy Newton's perfectly realised character, DCI Huntley, proved you don't always need the long arm of the law. Sometimes the stumpy arm of the law works equally well too. <laughs> right. The time, I believe, has come. Who wants to take a big gold head home on a night bus? We are all... <laughs> come on, run the gauntlet, you crazy fools. We are on tenterhooks because every year the winners of the BAFTA TV awards are an intensely closely guarded secret. I mean, Facebook knows, obviously, but apart from that, we're all in the dark. But enough of my yakking, because I can quite frankly see the team from Grand Designs who are worried I won't be finished before winter sets in. Here is what all of you, lovely lot, have been up to this year. This is the worst thing we've ever done. <laughs> Rich, too far! He wants to go. Good luck to him, I say. How did you go to the toilet? It's in weightlessness. Okay. Everything's just going to hang around. <laughs> I am sorry. Oh, congratulations. Job done. Okay. Give another P45. I have Donald John Trump. I am the least racist person that anybody's going to meet. It's like we're in two different worlds. <laughs> they watch Britain's Got Talent, for God's sake. Guilty. Perfect timing. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Obviously, somebody's a big name, but we're also a big name. <laughs> Who are these people? No sensation at all. I really have to up, up my game. <laughs> Back ourselves a couple of hot wives by the sounds of it. Nothing's love, but really! <laughs> got you! And got you! Oh, you fuck here to get me, mate. Rexo! You can't get these guys together. This is a bit trash, isn't it? Any regrets? I still wish I'd done Strictly. Joe and Cassie! Yeah. If it feels like paradise, run it through your bloody veins, you know. Give me a break. Oh, I love this! I love it! 